The 6.2 patch will be upon us sooner rather than later, and if you've been taking a break from Final Fantasy XIV, or you just want to be prepared for when it drops, you're in the right place. Now, I'm not a 100% completionist when it comes to everything in the game, including crafting and other niche stuff, so you may have to do a little bit more digging if you spend more time in game than me and you already have this covered. My name is Ivona from MomsDen.com, and if this is your first time around here, subbing is a good idea. I make simple FF14 guides that'll answer some of your questions in no time and give you quick in-game wins. I also live stream here and on Twitch, so if you're a fan of awesome communities, in-game and other highlights, I'm sure I'll see you around. First things first, if you haven't finished the 6.1 MSQ, you want to get right on that so that you can continue the story in the new patch. Even if you're not currently done with the 6.0 storyline, you may want to walk yourself through that, as the Island Sanctuary story requirement is going to be 6.0, and if you want to have a little farm of your own, better get to it. This one may be obvious, but if you haven't unlocked Endwalker Flying, it's a good idea to finish that, as there will probably be a lot of need to move around. So do those blue quests you've been avoiding, and find a friend to taxi you around while you're looking for currents if you're feeling a bit sluggish. If you're feeling a bit lonely and crave company, now would be a good time to find yourself a static or join an FC, depending on what your 6.2 goals might be. If you happen to be on Lich, you're more than welcome to drop into my Discord and join our cozy FC or just say hi. The link's in the description of this video. You should probably avoid getting annoyed on day one of the patch, and you can easily solve that by clearing out your inventory. And yes, that includes your armory chest, retainers, mailbox, chocobo saddlebag, and even your glam dresser. So get rid of all those 2.0 random mats you've been carrying around and toss out the leveling gear you're done using. If you're not done leveling your characters, then what are you even doing watching this video? Go ahead and queue into your daily roulettes. Uh, no, just kidding, I desperately need your eyeballs on this video in order to keep existing, so please do stay. If you'd like to experience the new Pandemonium storyline, make sure you've completed the 1 to 4 rings on normal. And if you're more on the high end as well, you'll need to clear the first 4 rings of Pandemonium Savage in order to go into the new Savage raid as well. Another important thing you'll want to do is spend your Allegory and Revelation tombstones, as they'll be discontinued, and you can do that in Mordona in Oriana's shop. Cap aphorisms before the patch is also quite important, as you'll be able to exchange 2000 tombstones of aphorism for 500 tombstones of astronomy, as the astronomy will become the new aphorism since we're getting the new tombstone currency. Capping your astronomy is also important, as it'll help you get the gear for your jobs when the patch hits. When it comes to other forms of currency, getting more ventures, MGP, and bicolor gemstones is a good idea, and you should have as much of that as possible in case of a new mount, minion, or other goodies appearing as the new patch rewards. If you'd like to make some gil at the beginning of the patch, it's good to stock up on materia, specifically Savage Aim, Savage Might, and Heaven's Eye 9 and 10. You can get it from the Arcosidara vendors, from a materia vendor in Radzathan in exchange for clusters, or you can invest some gil and buy the materia from the market board, as the prices will be a lot higher on day one of the new patch. Another neat way to earn gil at the beginning of 6.2 is by selling Kumbarashin treasure maps. There's a way to hold more than one map per inventory, so when your retainers, chocobo saddlebag and inventory are full, buy some maps and send them to a trusted friend's inbox. They can mail the maps back to you, and that way you can hold up to 20 maps at a time, and retrieve them as your inventory gets emptied out. You can also trade the favor with a friend and not have them mail the maps back to you, but you can fill each other's mailboxes with maps instead. This may be more or less important to you, but I find stocking up on dyes essential for the new patch. I hate the feeling of not being able to dye newly acquired gear, and if you're in the same boat while having some room to spare, I see no reason not to fill it up with all the shades you want to have. I normally have five of each, as that's how much I need to dye all the set pieces in the same shade if I so choose. Since the adventure played data is going to get flushed as they're getting out of beta, if you'd like to keep your portrait, it's important that you link it to a gear set in order to save it and have access to it once the patch is live. Not sure how big you are on minion collecting, but Island Sanctuary can hold up to 40 and have them roam free. So if you haven't been on the grind, now is a good time to get as many as you can. I have a cool video guide on how to get a lot of cheap and easy to acquire minions, and you'll find it in the description of this video. If you'd like to continue the Tataru's Grand Endeavor questline, you should complete the previous one made available in the current patch. The same goes for Hildebrand and his adventures, although the continuation of that story, along with the relics quests, will only be introduced during 6.25. 
Still, if you haven't done those yet, I have guides in the description for both in case you don't know how and where to unlock them. Gathering Beast Tribe is also going to be introduced in 6.2, so it's a good idea to have at least some gatherers at level 80 as you can use the Gathering Beast Tribe quests to level them to 90 and get cool rewards along the way. If you're a crafter, there are plenty of things you can do to ensure your success in 6.2, but I won't get too much into that as there are plenty of crafter-specific resources already out there that'll do a much better job. If you're a semi-casual and go as far as doing your custom deliveries and occasional crafting quests and such, saving enough white and purple scripts is what will help you get the new master recipe books that are dropping in the new patch, so make sure to cap those if you can. Finally, the opportunity to get the irregular tombstones for the Moogle event will end with the coming of the new patch, so if you haven't gotten around to farm those yet, this weekend is a good time to do so. If you've been under the rock and don't know what I'm talking about, there's an event guide in the description of this video you want to check out. And that's all I've got when it comes to the 6.2 patch. I may have left some things out, so please leave your tips in the comments as I probably need some as well. Oh, and make sure to sub to this channel for more easy guides like this if you haven't done that yet. Massive thanks to everyone supporting the channel, and especially our alphas like Kathy Spear on YouTube memberships, as well as Andyman, Space Cadet Rick, and Elijah Baker over on Patreon. If you'd like to join them and keep the content going, all the links are in the description of this video. Alright, now have fun, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.